Alan. Hi, uh, my name is Alan. I'm Hello. the Fandom Wire. How are you guys doing today? Great, thank you. How are you? Oh, doing great. Thank you so much. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, so first of all, Gino, a lot of this screenplay and your movie seems to be inspired by flicks like Men in Black or TV shows like The X-Files. How do you go about creating a lore that is unique from those other big properties? Well, I think um, just because throughout uh, from personal experience with um, people that I've like, interviewed before and spoken to, like former military guys, former like Marines and taking their experience and then incorporating that into like the whole like UFO abduction lore and just seeing exactly like, you know, what someone's personal experience would be if they lost someone that they love to like an abduction and going down that rabbit hole. Um, a lot, I, I would say a lot of myself was even inspired by Predator as well too, growing up. And yeah. I, I spent, I spent, had a three days I spent with John McTurnan talking about movies, you know, and that was, that was a great experience for me when I was younger. And, um, you know, you, you know, you know a lot from, from the older directors that have done great movies. Yeah. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Um, now, uh, you have a lot of like big personal, or sorry, you have a lot of personal scenes throughout the movie, but also some giant spectacle, like in that desert car chase. Uh, were there other inspirations other than like Predator or some of the action movies we had just mentioned that led you to want to have a big scene like that? Yeah, like stuff like, you know, I I, w I would say things like, you know, Heat with Michael Mann. <laughs> <laughs> You know the big, the big action scenes, like bigger movies like that, because I'm, I'm a big fan of his. Like, this is watching like Star Wars, of course. I'm a big Star Wars nerd. Um, growing up as a child, I always watched Star Wars. So, like, you know, the chase has always been like a part of what I wanted to do, and and to get people in like you know rovers, like space rovers, and 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 being chased. I think that was like a great like you know topping off of the movie, right? So, yeah, that makes sense. Now, what roles of Eric stood out to you when you were thinking about selecting him for the role of Tom? Say, say that again, brother. Uh, like what roles that you had seen Eric in were you most excited about when um you selected him for the role of Tom? Well, uh, I watched a lot of Eric's movies. Um, you know, going from going way back, like you know, when I was younger, to like Runaway Train, and you know, to Dark Knight. <laughs> I really, I really one one of the ones I really based it off of was really like Dark Knight. You know, it was like the villain. <laughs> You know, and 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 Eric was amazing, as you know. He really made that movie with with Heat and the rest of the actors, and um, that was like one of the roles I think that you know inspired me to be like, yeah, Eric could do this one. That makes it. sense. So Eric, uh, Tom has a lot of swagger. There's a lot of also nuance in how he's approaching these other younger kids who he feels kind of are inexperienced in the situation. What were some of the roles that you wanted to bring in? to help you inform your performance in this movie? Well, Tom is the kind of man who is probably, if not the head of his class, he was in the top 1% of his class. He's very bright. He, mm -hmm. he, he is a government employee. So so uh, all depending on his political you know, persuasion, he is very left or he's very right. I look at him as being very left, but I can see where you'd want to play him right. But mm -hmm. I look at him as being very progressive because he knows there are aliens and uh mm -hmm. and um like i do too and uh there are how can there not be how can we be so pompous to think we're the only living breathing thing in the universe that's kind of impossible so that being said and understood that's why i made this movie because uh it needs to be talked about it needs to be talked about in a way that's not boo that's understandable mm -hmm and acceptable and uh and definable and uh we've yet to do that and uh the closest we've come i think um before lumina is of course that great uh what's um what's the steven spielberg uh close encounters et et oh. uh et is is as close as we get to honestly accepting yes they are here <laughs> they are among us mm -hmm. and, uh but you know that 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 we take as a fantasy movie, even though I believe it's not a real fantasy movie. I believe it's real possibility, and hence that's why I made this movie because I, I'm a believer, dude, totally. All right, I, I was going to ask that towards the end. So Gino and Eric, you guys are both definitely believers in aliens and alien abductions. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I, I, I've had my own personal experiences and, and speaking to people that have been abducted and have experienced this type of phenomena, definitely. All right. And now, um, Eric, you play a character actor role in a lot of bigger movies. Like we had previously mentioned The Dark Knight. Uh, you're also in like The Expendables or Inherent Vice. Um, now, why do you like jumping into indie films and lending your character actor credibility to films like Lumina? Well, as an actor, it's all the same. It's all the same process to me. It can be an indie film or it can be Dark Knight and the biggest budget I've ever been in. It can be one or the other. And it's all the same process for me. It's all the same homework. It's all the same. You're getting up early to go to work. It's all the same process. So uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't judge films by their budgets. I just, I just show them to them by the directors and by their writers. And uh, if they have have a good guy in both in uh, in uh, in uh, both departments, I'm home free. Yeah. Uh, one of the other things that I thought was really fun was that you got to do some action stunts, or it appears you get to do some action stunts. What was the filming process like for those scenes? Well, uh, uh, I don't. Did I did, did I did I do any stunts in this movie? I think I think my stunt days were um, open. Before Eric did, did Eric did minimal, I think, in the movie, but he did some though. He did some. He did some. <laughs> but the majority was a stunt double though. Okay, yeah, I was I was I was very proud of myself that I was I was a member of the Stuntman's uh, Association for like forty years, but I've not mm -hmm. been a member for the past ten. And, okay. and they say. Can you do that? I say once, you know, that, that's kind of, uh, I don't do anything dangerous anymore. Not at all. Oh, that, that's probably smart. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for your time. I can see my time is expiring, but uh, I guess my last question is, what do you hope most people take away when they see your film, Lumina? I would say that it's real. It could happen to you. Um, it can happen to anyone and definitely like think about it psychologically. If you lost the one you love, how far would you go to get that, get them back if they were abducted by aliens? So it, it really is thought provoking questions it asks and people, people will start thinking about it. And that's the whole point to make people think. What he said. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. Have a great thank rest you of so your much. day. Yeah, great to see you, man. Thank yeah. you so much. Take care, guys.